Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's try a few examples to see if we understand the rules we learned on the previous video. So here in both examples we're trying to find the value for x. How do we do that? Well, we need to use the rule here that the value for x, so x degrees, which is equal to the measure of the angle from a to p to b, so we can say from a to p to b, that is equal to one half the measure of the arc length from A to C, so that would be the measure from A to C, minus the measure from A to B. Now we know the, the measure from A to B, but we don't know the measure from A to C, but we are given the measure of the arc length from C to B. So what we can say here is that the measure from A to C is equal to a full circle, 360 degrees minus the measure from A to B minus the measure from C to B. So that is equal to 360 degrees minus the measure from A to B which is 76 degrees minus the measure from C to B which is 84 degrees. Together that's 160 degrees subtract from 360 gives us 200 degrees. So now we know the measure from A to C along the arc length. So now we can say that x degrees therefore is equal to one half times the measure from A to C which is 200 degrees minus the measure from A to B which is 76 degrees which is equal to one half times 200 subtract 76 we get 124 degrees and so half of that would be equal to 62 degrees. So that is the measure for that angle, so that's the value for x. x is equal to 62. So now when we look at this case, that's actually like a special case of what we've done before. Notice that both of these lines are tangent to the circle. So we can say that the outside angle measure, the arc length here, from A to C would be equivalent to what we see here from A to C, right there. And then we have from A to B here. So again, what we can say here is that x degrees is equal to the measure of the angle from A to P to B, which is equal to one half the measure of the arc length from A to B now. So we don't stop at C, we want this entire arc length from A to C, so it would be arc length from A to C, minus the measure from A to B. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Let me... I think I'm misleading you. Let me take this back. Yes, we do want to go... The, we want to take this entire arc length, so we want to go from A to C to B. We want on the outside, so A, C, B. Let me just write it like that. Minus the measure of the arc length from A to B on the short side here. That's a better way to write it. All right, now let's plug in what we have here. Notice that we're given this arc length right here, so that would be x is equal to one half times the measure from ACB, that's 295 degrees, minus the measure from A to B. Now, we're not given that, however, we can say that the measure from A to B is equal to 360 degrees minus from A to B on the outside, the long, the long distance, 295, which is 65 degrees. So we take that, plug it in here, 65 degrees. So 65 subtracted from that, that gives us 230. So this is equal to one half times 230 degrees. 30 plus 65 is indeed 95. It's always good to check real quick real quick in our arithmetic. So x degrees is equal to half of that, which is 115 degrees. So therefore x equals 115. And that is how it's done.